this Toyota Hilux is fitted with a hydraulic, engine powered, front mounting capstan winch system. The main function of the winch is for lifting and hoisting applications. The winch system has a dynamic working load limit of 350 kilograms. The maximum line pull is limited hydraulically. Each vehicle is dispatched with a full manual. It is your responsibility as the operator to make sure you understand the system's capabilities, limitations and functionality. This system is not to be used to lift, support or otherwise transport personnel in any circumstance. Main system components. We have the engine driven power unit that's located in the rear loading bay of the vehicle. We have the capstan winch assembly. We have our foot switch and we also have the front of vehicle assembly. Pre-start checks. It's the operator's responsibility to carry out a point of use inspection of the system to make sure the equipment is in good working order. Starting at the back of the vehicle with the engine driven hydraulic power unit, firstly make sure there is a Lola equipment inspection tag fitted that is in date. If the system is overdue on its thorough inspection date, do not use the system and report this to your line manager. Secondly, check the engine for any obvious damage. Then check the hydraulic oil level is OK and can be seen on the visual gauge. Check there are no oil leaks. Make sure the two hydraulic hoses are connected from the engine unit HPU to the quick release cut pins in the rear loading bay. Make sure the seven pin plug is connected to the socket on the top of the engine hydraulic power unit and make sure there is sufficient fuel in the engine and the oil levels are correct. The foot switch. Make sure the foot pedal is in good condition and not damaged. Check the cable for cuts and abrasions and make sure the plug is in good condition and the pins are clean. At the front of the vehicle, inspect the bumper and the capstan winch bracket for any serious damage. Check the electrical interface and socket, making sure the socket cover is in present and in good condition. Check for any signs of oil leaks. If the vehicle is parked on tarmac or on concrete, it is a good opportunity to make sure there are no oil marks left behind. If there is anything found that could affect the operation of the equipment, the system should not be used until the issue is repaired or rectified and your line manager should be notified. Move the hydraulic power unit from its stowed position to the operational position. To unlock the sliding tray mechanism, these two yellow latches will have to be pushed down as the unit is pulled out. Open the vehicle left hand side hinged access door. The unit must be run in this position so that the exhaust fumes do not fill the rear of the vehicle. Push the emergency stop buttons to make sure the system is isolated before connecting the hydraulics. Now we install the capstan winch on the front bumper bracket. Ensure the locking pin is fully engaged. It has to be seen through the bracket to be sure of full engagement. Now we connect the capstan hydraulic hoses to the quick release couplings. Connect the foot pedal plug into the foot pedal socket. Reset the front bumper emergency stop. The button has to be twisted to release. Reset the emergency stop on the rear of the vehicle and rotate the battery isolator to the on position.
engine operation. Move the fuel tank shutoff lever to the on position. If the engine is being started from cold, you will need to operate the cold start choke fuel enrichment system. The throttle needs to be set to the idle position, which is the tortoise, and you need to check that the emergency stop is reset. Engine starting. Do not start the engine from cold with the throttle on its maximum speed position. During cold start, the engine must be started at the rear of the vehicle. To start the engine, push and hold down the green engine start button until the engine fires and runs. After two to five seconds, move the choke to the off position. Allow the engine to warm up for a short time before increasing the throttle from minimum to maximum. Engine stopping. Press either of the red emergency stop buttons to stop the engine. Make sure the engine is fully stopped before resetting the button. Engine restart. The engine can be restarted when the engine has been running for at least two minutes. After two minutes, the engine has warmed up and the throttle can be left at the maximum speed setting. The engine can either be restarted using the green push button on the hydraulic power unit or it can be started using the engine restart button which is yellow and fitted to the front of the vehicle. Push the buttons until the engine fires and runs. Winching. To operate the Campston winch we use the foot switch. By depressing the foot switch the winch drum will rotate. The foot switch does have an interlock which means that your foot has to be fully inserted into the casing for the foot switch to work. System pack up. When winching operation is finished, stop the engine. Move the fuel shutoff lever to the off position and turn the battery isolator off. Disconnect the foot switch at the front of the vehicle and stow. Disconnect the capstan winch assembly from the front of the vehicle and stow. Slide the hydraulic power unit back into the vehicle. The yellow latches have to be pushed down to allow the unit to slide. If required, the seven pin connector can be unplugged from the top of the power unit and stowed in the holder fitted to the side of the vehicle. periodic end user checks. If you come across any damage or anything that you think may affect the operation of the system, do not use the system and report to your line manager. Servicing. There is a service contract in place with Rotec Hydraulics for servicing all of your winch systems. Please refer to our sales team for parts and our workshop engineering manager for all your service requirements. Each main system component has a serial number that can be used if parts or assistance for that particular part are required. Safety features. Latching emergency stop buttons which means that the button has to be manually released before operations can proceed. Interlocked and housed foot switch so that falling objects cannot activate the switch. Pressure and return pipework have been designed so they are not interchangeable. 
This eliminates the risk of the system being connected up incorrectly. The main power unit slides out for operation mode so that it limits the amount of exhaust fumes that can enter the rear of the vehicle. The main battery isolator allows the electrics to be isolated when the system is not in use. During load holding situations, the winch drum load is held hydraulically via load holding valves and also by the winch's integral brake. Some of the vehicle mounted power units are fitted with hydraulic tool services. These systems are designed to be used with National Grid's hydraulic crimping tool. The power unit will supply a high flow up to 60 bar and then a low flow up to 520 bar, which gives the operator a two-speed fast approach system. Additional features, mode selection valve, crimp tool directional valve lever, visual high pressure gauge, high pressure hydraulic motor and pump set. Check through the system using the same method as if it was a standard unit. Make sure the mode selection valve is in a neutral select position. Make sure the crimp tool directional valve lever is in the stop position. Set up the system using the same method as if it was a standard unit. If the hydraulic tool option is being used, connect the hydraulic crimp tool to the quick release couplings on the front of the unit. Once the engine is started and running, either the capstan winch system or the hydraulic tooling option can be used. To select the capstan winch system, move the mode selection valve to the capstan winch position. The capstan winch can now be operated. Follow National Grid's safe operating procedure for all crimping operations. To select the hydraulic tools, move the mode selection valve to the hydraulic tools position. Operating the crimping tool. To crimp, move the crimp tool lever to the up position. To release, move the crimp tool lever to the down position. System pack up. Move the crimp tool lever to the stop position. Move the mode selector lever to the neutral position. Disconnect the crimp tool and replace caps. Pack up system in the same method as if it was a standard unit.